In addition to propagating cuttings from all over the world, a large part of our product line comes from seed started varieties. In this video, we'll take a look at our seed procurement and storage process. We purchase more than 125 million seeds each year. Our purchasing team and sales manager work closely together to choose the best seed varieties for our customers each season. This involves assessing the quality and performance of each variety and ensuring that the seed supply is available. Several members of our team visit events throughout the United States and Europe to meet with breeders and assess the performance of different varieties in outdoor garden trials. Customer pre-orders placed ahead of the season play a significant role in determining the quantity of seeds to be purchased. We always encourage our customers to pre-order their plants to ensure they get the varieties they want. The purchasing team reviews seed needs on a weekly basis throughout the season and places orders accordingly with our trusted suppliers. Ballseed, a broker distributor in West Chicago, serves as our main supplier, sourcing seeds from all over the world. In addition, Ballseed's Premier Lab coats and pellets over 80% of their seed supply. Coating is a process used to make seeds a little heavier and smoother, so it's easier for the seeding machines to accurately pick them up and place them in the trays. Specialized coating machines pump the coating solution onto the seeds while they are kept suspended inside a tube using air pressure. Several coats are done, and the final bright yellow coat helps with seed visibility during the seeding process. Pelleting is a similar process, used for small seeds like begonias that are hard to see at all or pick up individually in seeding machines. Pelleting makes the seeds more visible, adds weight, and improves placement on the soil. Plus, it standardizes seed sizes for automated seeding machines. The pelleting process begins by adding a wetting agent to the seeds in a rotating pan, followed by a proprietary mix primarily composed of clay until the desired size is achieved. For small batches, the process is done by hand, but for large batches, an automated system is controlled by a computer. The computer stores many different recipes and measures the moisture added to the pan to ensure the finished seeds are the perfect size. Uniformity is essential in both the coated and pelleted seeds, which is why Ball's Quality Control Department ensures that the finished coated and pelleted seeds are soft enough to dissolve once watered, but strong enough to withstand fragmentation during shipping and storage. Ball also offers primed seeds that have been enhanced and brought just to the point of germination and then dried down. This amazing process can cut up to two weeks off the grow time and produces a more vigorous product. After the seeds are coated with a primer and incubated for seven to nine days, they are moved to the drying room where the germination process is stopped before the seeds are packaged and shipped. Once the seeds arrive at Jolly Farmer, they are scanned into our raw materials database and recorded by lot number. This allows for tracking and identification throughout the growing process. We take quality control seriously and our growers review the performance of each seed lot to ensure that they are up to our standards. If a seed lot doesn't germinate well, it is immediately flagged and won't be purchased in the future. Our seeds are stored in a temperature controlled unit kept at 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 20% relative humidity. This ensures that the seeds remain viable and fresh, ready to be seeded. We even have an alarm system in place to alert the team in case the temperature in the seed cooler rises too high. The seed packages are carefully sorted into boxes and arranged alphabetically by groups of annuals, perennials, vegetables, and herbs. When it's time to begin seeding, each package is scanned at the seeding line against the barcode on the tray to ensure accuracy. This allows the team to easily identify which lot number was used for each tray and eliminates variety mix-ups during the seeding process. Next time on Life of a Plant, we'll show you the fascinating process of sowing seeds and the automated seeding machines we use to produce millions of seedlings each season.